the invasive spotted lanternfly has now surfaced in multiple areas in Massachusetts. To check whether your property is an infested area, click the link for the map of known SLF infestations at mass.gov slash spotted dash lanternfly or scan this QR code. There are several ways to manage a spotted lanternfly infestation on your property, depending on the level of infestation, your available resources, and if host plants are on your property. This video will review the most common management options. If the level of spotted lanternfly infestation is light, you may be able to manage it by hand. When you find an egg mass, squish the eggs and scrape them off. If you capture nymphs or adults, squish them or put them in a container with hand sanitizer or rubbing alcohol. If you want a more hands-off approach, you can install spotted lanternfly traps. There are two main types of traps to use to catch spotted lanternfly, circle traps and sticky bands. Both traps are placed on trees. While these traps can be useful, they will not remove 100% of the lanternflies on your property. If you use sticky bands, be sure to use mesh screening to reduce the risk of catching other animals. You may need to regularly empty or replace these traps because when full, they stop working. Managing a spotted lanternfly infestation with a shop vac or handheld vacuum can also be a good option. Make sure to leave the insects in the vacuum for a couple of days before emptying it to ensure they are dead. After disposal, thoroughly clean the vacuum to remove any residual insects or eggs. If you are in an area with a heavy infestation or where no other management techniques would be effective, there are pesticides that have been shown to successfully treat spotted lanternfly. Note that pesticide applications are best done by licensed professionals and should be done in accordance with state law and regulations. Contact insecticides that contain active ingredients like bifenthrin or carbaryl kill any spotted lanternfly nymphs or adults that come into contact with the spray and can last up to two weeks. Systemic insecticides that contain active ingredients like dinotefferin or imidacloprid are taken up by the roots, stems, and leaves of plants and kill spotted lanternfly when it feeds. In late winter or early spring, horticultural oils can be used to treat egg masses in places where it's too difficult to scrape them off. The removal of Tree of Heaven, the main host plants for spotted lanternfly, can be an effective way to reduce the amount of honeydew and sooty mold on your property. However, Tree of Heaven can be a challenge to eliminate and is not the lanternfly's only food source. Cutting the tree down is not effective on its own because it causes the root system to send out a lot of new shoots. Mature trees typically need several herbicide treatments before they are completely dead. Also, some people may have a bad reaction if they are exposed to Tree of Heaven sap. Because of this, it is best to check with an arborist if you are thinking of removing any Tree of Heaven on your property. Thank you for taking the time to learn about how to manage spotted lanternfly. To learn more, visit mass.gov slash spotted lanternfly.